hackers, digital security, cyber warfare. These are hot topics these days, and people really want to know what's going on. And I'm here to tell you that the first thing you need to know is that this is a losing battle. You will never have your laptop completely 100% secured. You can have a computer expert look at it, study it, analyze it, but there could well be a piece of malware on there that's stealing your information and compromising your source's safety. But I like to think that reporters are really stubborn people and that despite the fact that this is a losing battle, as I say, we will still fight the good fight and at least make it a little bit difficult for hackers to access our computers. And the first thing we can do is set up Gmail's two-step verification process. Drop the other webmail services, stop using Yahoo, stop using Hotmail. Use Gmail because it has two-step verification. Two-step verification is easy to use. If you can download an app onto your iPhone or Android, you can set it up in 15 to 20 minutes, and it will give you better email security. Now, a lot of journalists go overseas, go to countries like China or other authoritarian states, and I would propose that everyone brings a VPN with them. A VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and it allows you to surf the internet anonymously. It's a great tool, and again, if you can download software onto your laptop, then you know how to set up a VPN. There are many services out there. Siphon is a great one. It's a for-profit VPN service, but it helps out a lot of activists, journalists, and NGOs. Talk to your editor about getting a VPN, and talk to other journalists about VPNs as well. It's something that is essential in this day and age. Now, there are a lot of war correspondents out there, and they get their hostile environment training. And what I would propose is that we start asking for digital security training for the digital front lines. After all, if you're going into a war zone, your newsroom gives you a bulletproof vest. Well, people should be going into a country such as China with proper tools, with VPNs, with an understanding of digital security. And they can only do that by learning about it. In many ways, this is a question of a state of mind. We need to change our attitude, and we need to start thinking about the digital world as something as real as the physical world. After all, if we email our sources and the email is not encrypted, we compromise our sources' safety, and that should be paramount for us. So going back to what I said earlier, start with Gmail's two-step verification. You can do that right away and then ask people about a VPN. You should have it on your computer, ready to go for whenever you travel overseas. And lastly, that important conversation about changing attitudes. Start asking for digital training. One, two, three things that can give you better digital hygiene.